WLTV. This is the Eyewitness News at 6. A New Orleans family owned restaurant was forced to close because a car crashed into it Sunday night. It was a hit and run caught on video. Good evening and thanks for joining us everyone. I'm Cherise sure Gibson. When Mike McDaniel caught up with the restaurant owner today, he also found the alleged car involved. Now police are investigating as repairs are being made to the restaurant. Instead of serving up the favorites like red beans and fried chicken. My dad's gumbo is one to stop for as well. Cleanup was happening instead Tuesday at Her Deck Kitchen on Felicity Street in New Orleans. That bench was collapsed and this entire wall was pushed in. When Tia Dorst showed up Monday morning, she was shocked. I decided to try to look at the footage on the camera and I was like, maybe it was a drunk driver at first. When she looked at security video from Sunday night, she saw this. Someone sped up Felicity and tried to do a donut in the middle of the street and crashed into the building. That car with no headlights then drove off. The damage forced the restaurant to close. Yeah, I had to wipe <laughs> the tears off of her. Yeah, I was crying yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Doris' dad, Jeffrey Hurd, opened the Central City restaurant eight years ago. It's been a family operation ever since, creating a big draw for tourists. Tourists like to step out of the Central Business District or the French Quarter to experience the authenticity of New Orleans when it comes to the cuisine. <laughs> like Jerome Ross from Ohio, in town for a conference. I searched it, researched best soul food near me and it was the number one rated soul food restaurant that pops up. He didn't get to try the food, but as a restaurant owner himself, he says he'll be back on his next trip. This doesn't infuriate me or anything. There's all kind of local day-to-day -day challenges you have as a restaurant owner. After our interview, a passerby said he saw a car that looked similar to the one in the video. It was parked on the street behind the restaurant. With damage to the front end and identical markings, the car appears to be a match. We were there as police showed up to investigate. Back around the corner. We're going to bounce back. Yeah, yeah. We'll Bigger and better. Doris and her dad are just trying to get back open. Thankful no one was hurt. We're going to make the best of the situation and not harp on the bad times that has happened. So that's all we can do. A bad time soon to be eased with good food. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. Well, the father-daughter duo hopes to be able to open the restaurant tomorrow. Police do confirm to Eyewitness News they are investigating the connection of that car to the restaurant. But as of now, no arrests have been made.